It's Dan the Bugman here. I am here to answer one of the most common questions that I get in the pest control industry, and that is to explain the difference between flying ants and flying termites. In today's video, I'm first going to be showing you an example of flying ants, and I'm going to explain to you what they do, and then I'm going to show you an example of flying termites and explain to you what flying termites do. And then finally, I'm going to actually compare these two insects right up next to each other and show you how you can very, very easily tell the difference between flying ants and flying termites. Let's go ahead and dive into the flying ants. Flying ants are just a different type of ant within the ant colony. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at right here. So we have ants that I have baited with a liquid ant bait. If you look at these ants, some of them have wings. Some of them do not have wings. See how those ants are all interacting together? Even over here, those ants with the wings are eating the same bait as the worker ants. All of those ants are in the same colony system. So just because ants have wings, that doesn't mean that they are a different species of ants or really anything to be concerned about. The flying ants are the reproductive ants in the colony. Those ants at some point will fly off and start a new colony somewhere else. Flying ants are super common in the summer and springtime. I get a lot of questions about like, what are flying ants doing in my house? Why are there flying ants in my house? Well, it's just because there's an ant colony that is close by. All ant colonies live in the soil, and whenever they end up in your house, it's because they have found a food source or a water source. Whenever they find a food or water source, they send a pheromone trail on the ground where they found it, and they go back to the colony. Whenever they do that, the colony then knows, hey, this is where food and water is. And then they start sending more ants. And sometimes they will send flying ants. And flying ants, being as they are, will start to fly in the air. So that really just means that there's just an ant colony nearby your house. So check out all these ants feeding on that ant bait. I just blew on it and now they're everywhere because they did not like that. So just let me know if you guys have any questions about ants or flying ants. Guys, now let's talk about flying termites. Flying termites are also very commonly called termite swarmers. So let's take a look at these flying termites and see what they look like compared to the flying ants. These flying termites you see in some ways look very, very similar to the flying ants. The termites have a black exoskeleton body similar to the ants, and they're actually really almost the exact same size as the ants, just about a centimeter long. They have the white wings that the ants we just looked at also have. And they again, guys, they do the same job for the termite colony that the flying ants do for the ant colony. So termite swarmers, their only job within the colony is to fly far, far away and to start a new termite colony somewhere else. And that's why they have wings and that's why they have a hard black exoskeleton. But the black hard exoskeleton, that definitely differs from the ant colony. I'm gonna show you here actually the same species of termites and these are actually the worker termites. As you can see, these are white and they're actually blind they don't have wings and they have a very soft exoskeleton. On the other hand, the flying termites within the colony, they have big wings and they have a black hardened exoskeleton. That black hard shell gives the flying termites extra protection that they're going to need when they fly away to start a new colony somewhere where the worker termites, they don't need that hard shell because they live their whole life underground and as you're seeing here, can create these protective tubes that they use to get to hard to reach wood. The flying termites, once they leave for the summer, the colony isn't going to make any more flying reproductive termites until the next springtime when they're ready to get released again. So in that regard, it is a little harder to find termite swarmers and worker termites interacting together within the colony. Here I was able to find a dead termite swarmer and if you look at this termite swarmer next to a worker termite, you can tell that their body shape is exactly the same. They have a head and a thorax connected together, whereas fly ants have those three body parts. The most common time to see flying termites is in the springtime, very similar to the ants. So now that I've shown you some pictures and videos of flying ants and flying termites next to each other, let's look at this cool graphic and I'm going to explain to you the number one super easy way you can figure out for yourself if you have flying ants or flying termites. So the number one way to do this is to look at the body shape of the insect you're trying to identify. On the left here, the ants, they have three 
very distinct body segments compared to the termites on the right. It almost looks like one body segment, but it really is two body segments where the ants have very distinct separated segments. And guys, the whole reason that the termites and ants body shape looks so, so different is because they are actually quite biologically different from each other. Even though ants and termites behave very similarly, but actually guys, ants are very closely related to wasps and bees, whereas on the other hand, termites are more closely related to things like cockroaches and praying mantis. And if you look at the shape of their body, it is quite evident to see how these insects are different and they're in a different family. The fact that ants and termites behave so very similarly in reality is just a coincidence of the nature of these animals, but they are actually not super, super related as some people think that ants and termites are just cousins to each other, but in reality, they are quite different insects. So if you see flying ants or flying termites inside your home, just keep that in mind. Their job is to reproduce. But if you see them inside your home, that means that there is a ant or a termite colony extremely, extremely close to your home, if not inside of your home or under the foundation. So if you see flying ants or flying termites, you don't need to just brush it off as nothing. You need to make sure you have that under control and figure out what the next steps are for you. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope this helped you understand the difference between flying ants and flying termites. If you have any questions, just drop a comment and I will be more than happy to answer them and I will see you guys next time.